This video describes uh, some benefits to using H cells in Caliber LVS. There are two uh, key benefits to using H cells. One, uh, debug uh, ease and efficiency, and also uh, improved performance as uh, design sizes grow. With regard to debug, here's an example uh, LVS report from a flat run. We see uh, all of these uh, discrepancies being reported. And here's an LVS report from a hierarchical run that uses H cells. This is the uh, same circuit, same uh, problems uh, within the layout, only described in a much more efficient way. We see uh, one error basically uh, in a cell uh, instead of 10 errors for the whole design. Now this is what that same flat run looks like in uh, Caliber RVE. And here's what the uh, hierarchical run looks like uh, with H cells uh, in RVE. Now, with regard to performance, here's a representation of a flat net list uh, containing 10 placements of a cell that had uh, 12 devices. This is a hierarchical netlist of the same circuit. Now the flat uh, netlist uh, showed 120 uh, things to check. The hierarchical version has just 22 things to check. That's 12 devices inside a cell and 10 placements of that cell. 12 plus 10 gives us the, uh, the 22 things to check instead of 120. Now you may not notice a big difference in performance with a uh, with a small circuit. Uh, it already runs fast uh, just because it's small. But as designs grow uh, past the point where they take hours to run instead of minutes, then the performance benefit can be tremendous. If you don't already have an established H cell methodology, here's a link uh, to a video that describes one way to create an initial H cell list. If you'd like to explore H-Cell methodology a bit more deeply, you may find these articles in the Caliber communities to be of interest. This is Chris Balgum with Mentor Graphics uh, Global Support and Services. I hope you found this video helpful.